Hey everybody, it's Ryan Metzler here again, and today we're going to take a look at, well, we're going to look at this table that I'm sitting at right here, which is one of the rectangular gaming tables from BoardGameTables.com. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the features of the table, the pros, and if there are any cons of the table, we'll talk about those, on the various features that you can have added to or removed from, or the customization that you can have done with the tables themselves. So uh, why don't we real quick just take a look at the various features of the table. We'll talk about uh, how the table plays and then we'll come back at the end and we'll get my opinions on their product as a whole. So here you can see the entire table from kind of an overarching shot. And what we're looking at here is an approximately five and a half foot table across, uh, and it's about three and a half feet uh, wide in terms of the table, with about a two and three quarter inch uh, kind of outer railing around. And what we've got inside here is an inlay that goes from the two and three, order, three quarter inch rails all the way through covering up the play area of the table. Now this is a double sided uh, insert here, so you can actually flip it over from one side to the other. I don't know if you can see on the video right now if I push down on it a little bit. Uh, you can see that it does bow a little bit over time. Uh, and this is one thing I did want to bring up in the overarching uh, kind of review of the table is that this does bow a little bit over time because underneath here is an open play area that we'll look at in a little bit. And under this open play area, there is no support at the center of this, of this inlay. Now this inlay is very nice and will, as I said, a little bit over time kind of decrease and bow down. So what I was looking at before is I had this inlay the other way around. It was flipped over uh, and had bowed down a little bit. And this is easy to fix. You simply take it out, flip it over, and since they are double-sided, you may have a slight bow in the center of this table, but that will eventually settle down. And over time, it will flex less and less as things go on. So. Uh, this is not really a complaint that I have, but something worth noticing. Uh, you'll note that the table is all hardwood. This table is oak, uh, and the oak is stained with what they call the Carrington stain. Now you have several options. You can check them out on their webpage. Uh, this is just the one that I thought that I would like the most with my kind of decor in the area here. It matches our other wood. But you can choose uh, alder, you can choose cherry, whatever wood you'd like, and you can get any of the appropriate stains on that table as well. Now, uh, moving on from here, uh, because this is probably the t part of the table that I use the least, uh, we're going to talk about taking this insert out. So, uh, underneath the table, there's a little, little kind of button that you can push up. It's a little wood rod. Uh, and when I put my hand here and I push up, you'll see that it pops the table up, the, the insert up. And so now I can grab this and I can simply lift it out. Now, if you see, once I lift up, uh, you'll see that the other side of this is finished and there's a little hand notch inside of the wood here where I can put my finger in order to lift this out. So real quick, I'm going to have Andrea help me lift this out of the table. We'll set it aside and we'll talk a little bit more about the inside of the table uh, and how that play surface kind of works in terms of playing a game on top of it. So inside of this railing, so you'll see we have kind of a, a lip here inside of the railing and this is where your insert actually sits when the, the table is here. Uh, and you can see this little thing here, it's attached by a piece of leather on the bottom of the table, and this is what I'm using to push that insert out. This is nice because when the insert is in there, it's flush with this table edge, and there's really no way for you to get it out easily, so just pushing this up allows you to do that. It also provides you with a nice safe way to put the table back in, just resting it on here and then dropping it down. Next to this, you'll see there's a couple of little pads, and these they've added in order to try and limit that bowing that you've seen before. So having a nice soft surface for it to sit on limits the bowing that occurs with that central inlay, uh, but still you get a little bit of bowing over time. Uh, if you want to look at the, the, the legs here, just to talk about them briefly, uh, these are very sturdy and stable oak legs on this table, and of course they'd be made out of the appropriate wood for whatever table you ordered, uh, but they are screwed on with just one bolt. They're very easy to attach. They do not come attached with your table, but once on, uh, make the table very, very stable. So I'm kind of trying to rock the table here, and you'll see it shifts just a little in the corner, but overall it's very, very stable in terms of the table overall. Now, uh, talking a little bit more about the play area, you can see now that we have kind of this nice burgundy play area. Uh, I chose this color and we'll talk a little bit more about colors in just a moment. But what I'd like to talk about in a little bit more detail is the ability of the table to hold various sizes of game boards. So uh, we can see three different size game boards here. We have Power Grid Deluxe over on the left hand side. As you can see, this is a six fold board. Uh, this six fold board fits very comfortably just on the left hand side of this 
this table alone. So for a very large board, it fits very nicely. Uh, and if you've played Power Grid before, you'll know that there are several components that you need to place around the board. Uh, if we were to remove these two other boards, it would fit very, very easily into the center of the table and each player could have a nice, easy place to keep all of their components that they needed. Uh, and of course, set up everything that you need in order to place on the board, be it the various resources or whatever else you might need. Next to that, we can see a little bit of a smaller, kind of a medium-sized game board. What we're looking at here is Trajan. So this is the board for Trajan. It's a, a I guess, a two-fold board uh, or a four-fold, whatever you want to call it. But this board fits very, very easily into almost one kind of quarter of the table overall. So if we were to keep this, again, there's a lot of components that go with Trajan, but easy fit. Uh, and then finally, a small board, just to kind of show off if you're playing a two-player game, it will fit easily on one half of the table. You can keep all your components next to it, and it's still within easy reach of both of the players on either side of the table. Clearly, you wouldn't want to sit across the long way. You're not going to reach it, but overall, should be okay if you're sitting across from one other player. Now, to talk a little bit more about the playing surface, let's remove these boards real quickly. And we'll talk about the, the feel of this fabric. So. What we're looking at here uh, is what they call speed cloth. You'll see we got a little bit of debris on here. No big deal. You can actually wipe that right off with uh, either a wet rag or you can use like a lint roller to pick up extra stuff. But this surface is kind of a mixture of uh, a, a nice material for playing games on and kind of an exterior uh, semi-water resistant um, fabric that you can kind of clean pretty easily and make sure that you don't get super dirty. So. Uh, this surface is a little bit padded. Uh, you can't really see, but you can press down on it and it has a nice feel to it. Now the nice fact about it having this little bit of give is that if I'm to place a card on here, uh, it makes it easy to push down and get underneath the card to pick it up. When you have a harder play surface, it sometimes can be a little hard to get underneath a card, but this allows you just to kind of push down on the surface and get it pretty easily. Uh, the other nice part is that it does have some give when I'm rolling dice. So you'll see that I can roll the dice on the table. If I want, I can roll them against the edge and they'll roll appropriately, uh, but it doesn't really limit them in terms of their roll, but can still keep them on the table because of the inlay. So overall, this is very nice. Uh, a couple things I've noticed with it over time in terms of the play surface is that it is, of course, a very nice play surface. It looks great on video. Uh, it looks great when you're playing a game, uh, but it can get a little bit of blemish. Of course, this is nothing that you can prevent with any type of fabric. Any fabric will get blemished over time. But if you wipe it down with a rag or keep it clean with a lint roller, it's going to hold up pretty well over time. Uh, in newer models, I think they're working on making these replaceable or invertible, so you should have that option in the near future. Uh, I don't think it's currently an option, but overall it would be a good one uh, if you were able to change this out over time. So keep your eyes open for that. It's something that might be coming in the future. Along those lines, you do have a variety of different color choices that you can choose from and two different types of fabric. There are close knit and wide knit fabrics. And so what I'm looking at here is a wide knit kind of fabric swatch. Uh, you'll see we have blues and some grays. We have some beiges, uh, a black and maybe another black, uh, some green and various different colors. Now what I'm working with personally is the tight knit burgundy color. And you'll see that this is the fabric swatch that he sends out to you uh, when you're interested in a table and it matches up quite nicely with the color of the fabric on the table. So this is a great way to choose. Uh, but you can also get some, some different varieties of green, blue, black, and again, the same beiges and grays. So there's a ton of different color choices for you to choose from here, uh, depending on what your decor or what your color preference is in terms of play area. The last thing I'd like to talk about, of course, is the cup holders that I've got built in. There are several different add-ons you can get. One, of course, is cup holders. They come in two or one cup holder segments, uh, either on the sides or on the ends of your table. Uh, they fit pretty well with a bottle or uh, a, a regular size glass. If you get a larger glass uh, or a mug, it may not fit in here quite as well, but I find that it still holds them pretty well and you even have an area for chips or whatever they might be. These slide in pretty easily uh, and the, the, uh, the metal can be taken out and rinsed or washed if you happen to have a mishap or spill. They also have drawers and are working on other features that you can have slide or in or out from your table in order to give you customization aspects that you can use to play in your own type of fashion. Well, there you have it. That is the rectangular table from BoardGameTables.com. Uh, lots of good things to say about this table. Um, 
In general though, I've kind of spoken about all of the different features in the video, so let's just kind of in general talk about this this product uh, as a whole. Um, I think it's very good uh, that they now have a competitor out to uh, the very, very expensive but very, very nice geek chic option that you have for gaming tables. Uh, in the market, they have by far dominated the market until this point. Uh, they do make an excellent product. Uh, they're very, very high end, but they're also very, very expensive and they take a long time to get. Uh, at board game tables, uh, they have fewer options. Uh, I wouldn't call them necessarily, uh, at this point, as high end of a table, but I think they provide an excellent, excellent solution uh, and an excellent competitor in a little bit of a lower uh, cost market, but one that's still a very, very high quality gaming table. Uh, they give you a ton of options in terms of fabrics, they give you a ton of options in terms of stains, uh, and then there's all of, of course, the different customization aspects you can do, things like the cup holders sliding in and out. Uh, in terms of the, the structure of the tables, they're very, very solid. Uh, they are very, very easy to maintain. Um, I've not had any real issues. Uh, they're a cinch to put together, so everything is very, very high quality in terms of these tables. Uh, very happy that I got one, and they're at a little bit lower price point. Uh, you can certainly order these right now, uh, and you should get them within, I believe, a couple of months, uh, so it's much faster uh, than your current other options. Uh, and just generally, they're an excellent feel to playing a game on these tables. Uh, there has been a lot of concern that railings like this on the side of a table, uh, when you take this insert out, cause a problem with comfort at playing at the table, I actually find it exactly the opposite. It gives me a great place to rest my arms. Uh, they're not uncomfortable at all. Uh, and at the same time, I have that nice inlay to keep everything smooth on the table, prevent it from falling off, and I can roll down into the table with dice or whatever else I might need. Uh, so if that sounds good to you, you should definitely check out their products. Uh, hopefully they'll be hitting some of the major shows this year so you can see them in action. I know that they're making demo tables now, but uh, check out their webpage. It's boardgametables.com for all of the customization options available and see if a product might be for you. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.